You see that tiny bump on top of the airplane? Well, Elon Musk put it there. Or rather, he told someone to put it there. But regardless, it's about to reinvent air travel as we know it. Have you ever been 30,000 feet in the air, having just paid a ridiculous amount of money for one hour of Wi-Fi just to have it cut out when trying to check your email? That's where that little bump comes into play. But why is it that Wi-Fi on a plane is so awful in the first place? And how will Elon Musk's revolutionary Starlink system change that? The thing is, most airplanes today still connect to internet satellites that are parked way, way out in space, specifically 22,000 miles above Earth. These are called geostationary satellites, or geosatellites for short. And while they do their job, the issue is distance. The farther that signal has to travel, the slower it gets to you. Like a message in a bottle floating across the ocean. Slow and frustrating, right? Well, that's what airplane Wi-Fi feels like now, especially when you try to stream or game. But hang on, because in just a moment, we're going to show you how something as close as the edge of space is going to make all of that ancient history. Some airplanes are stuck using air-to-ground technology, a system that is more grounded than you'd like. It's like your cell phone clinging to towers far below. But as soon as you soar out over the ocean or beyond those towers reach, you're out of luck. It's no wonder you've been left frustrated mid-flight. This explains why sometimes Wi-Fi on an airplane works okay and other times almost unusable. The worst part is you're paying for this terrible experience. It's like being sold a luxury ride and finding yourself in a jacked up convertible. But thankfully, our worries have reached the ears of the tech gurus, and that is all about to change. Because Elon Musk has come up with a much smarter way to get you connected while flying. Starlink is also using satellites, but they aren't bothering with those distant 22,000 mile high satellites we mentioned earlier. Instead, it's looking much closer. Enter Low Earth Orbit or LEO satellites, sitting at a mere 300 to 1,000 miles above the planet. Compared to geo satellites, it's like going from communicating with someone across the country to chatting with a next door neighbor. The closer the satellite, the faster the internet gets to you. And this isn't just some theoretical upgrade. On flights that already use Starlink, passengers have seen speeds up to 150 megabits per second, fast enough to stream movies, play online games, and browse the internet without the endless buffering. But before we get too far into the future, there's a question that's on everyone's mind, and probably yours too. Why can't we just use the internet on our phones when we're up in the sky? Why do we even need airplane Wi-Fi when we have a cell phone with its own data? This brings us to something we've all had to deal with before on every single flight, airplane mode. So what's the point of airplane mode anyway? We are in the future, right? Can't we just leave our phones on and go about our business? There is this myth floating around that keeping your phone off airplane mode might throw the plane into chaos, scrambling navigation systems. But guess what? That's not really the case. One phone? No problem. Your single device isn't going to crash the plane or mess with the cockpit. But we aren't saying not to listen to the pilot when asked to turn on airplane mode. You see, it's more about how your phone interacts with cell towers on the ground. Cell towers are designed to send signals horizontally across the land like this, not upwards. So, once you're 30,000 feet in the air, your phone simply cannot connect to those towers efficiently. Plus, the airplane itself acts like a giant metal cage, blocking most of the signals anyway. Airplane mode isn't about the plane's safety. It's more about preventing a bunch of phones from hogging the bandwidth and constantly searching for signals. For starters, when you don't have airplane mode on, your phone is constantly yelling, Hey, where are you, cell tower? This drains your battery, and no one likes a dead phone on a 12-hour flight. But here's the thing. Soon, finding a signal in the sky is going to be the least of your worries. Keep that in mind, because it's about to get interesting. Airlines offering Wi-Fi will become the norm, with easier travel for everyone. Yes, 
our phones won't ever work well in the sky, but with Starlink, they won't need to. So you have Starlink Wi-Fi. You hit the halfway point of your flight and everything is going great. The movie just hit the climax. You grip your seat in anticipation. But wait, why is the movie still buffering? There's another issue many passengers have with Wi-Fi in crowded places, and it's none other than congestion. Whether it's at a busy airport or even at home with many family members, too many people using the same connection can cause congestion, and everything just slows to a crawl. But here's where Starlink's system gets really clever. Like having a backup lane on the highway when traffic gets busy, instead of relying on just one type of satellite, Starlink uses a multi-orbit system. This means that it can switch between its LEO satellites for fast internet access and geo satellites in those congested areas. When one satellite gets too busy, Starlink's antenna automatically switches to another to keep things running smoothly. This technology ensures that planes equipped with Starlink experience fewer slowdowns, even in busy airspaces. So whether you're flying over a bustling city or the remote ocean, you'll still get that high-speed connection. And this is especially important for airlines, much like United Airlines, that have to navigate crowded routes while ensuring passengers can stay connected. Now, let's zoom out for a second. Sure, Starlink is great for you and every other passenger, but it is also changing the game for the airlines themselves. You see, faster and more reliable internet doesn't just mean happier customers. It also means a smarter, more efficient flight. Let's put ourselves into the pilot's shoes for a moment. You're flying through the night with a fully loaded plane. The sky outside is pitch black and the hum of the engine steady. But up ahead, without a warning, a massive storm starts brewing, something the systems didn't pick up earlier. At that moment, everything hangs in the balance. The weather forecast you received before takeoff is outdated and you now have to scramble for information or updates that might not arrive in time. With Starlink, things are different. Instead of panicking, you know that you can instantly pull up the latest weather data from ground control. You see the storm moving in real time, and you can track its path. In seconds, you've communicated with the operations team on the ground and adjusted your flight path, steering clear of danger and keeping everyone on board safe and comfortable. This is not just a happy ending, it's the reality of flying in the future. But it's not just about avoiding storms. This real-time connection allows airlines to make smarter decisions about flight routes, fuel efficiency, and even maintain schedules. By constantly feeding data back and forth between the plane and ground control, airlines can even predict mechanical issues before they become serious reducing costly repairs or emergency landings. It's like turning every plane into a well-oiled, hyper-connected machine. For the airlines, this is a game-changer. Not only do they save on operational costs, but fewer delays and smoother flights means happier passengers. And in the competitive world of aviation, customer satisfaction is everything. It's a win-win. And that's all thanks to Starlink's powerful network of satellites. One of the airlines at the forefront of this switch to Starlink is none other than United Airlines. Signing a deal with Elon Musk's space-based internet service Starlink. United is about to shake things up in a major way. And their big move involves the Starlink system and its enhanced technologies. They recently announced their plan to outfit more than 1,000 planes with Starlink's high-speed internet service over the next several years, making it the largest in-flight Wi-Fi partnership yet for the satellite provider. The first flights equipped with Starlink are expected to take off within the next year, with the service providing what United calls gate-to-gate -gate connectivity. This basically means you stay connected from the moment you step on the plane until you land. No more waiting until you're 10,000 feet in the air to turn on your Wi-Fi. United praised Starlink satellite service for providing internet access around the world, including over oceans and polar regions, places where traditional cell signals just can't reach. And United isn't alone in making this shift. 
other airlines, including Delta and Hawaiian Airlines, have also teamed up with Starlink to bring its passengers faster free internet on their flights. JetBlue, which has been offering complimentary Wi-Fi for years, is proof that passengers really appreciate this kind of service. With airlines constantly looking for ways to stand out, it's no surprise that many are investing in better flight internet to attract and retain customers, particularly those in the business travel sector. So, what does this all mean for the future of air travel? In a word, transformation. Starlink isn't just about giving passengers a better in-flight experience, though that is a huge part of it. It is about changing the way we think about flying altogether. You're on a long-haul flight, maybe halfway across the Atlantic, and instead of struggling with glitchy Wi-Fi, you're streaming your favorite show in HD, playing an online game, or even joining a video conference call without a hitch. You're able to stay productive, entertained, and connected no matter where you are in the world. That is the future of air travel, and it's coming faster than anyone realizes. In just a few years, flying won't feel like being crammed in the sky. For airlines, the ability to offer high-speed internet for free, or at least for a low cost, could become a key selling point. As more airlines adopt Starlink's technology, we can expect the entire industry to shift toward offering better connectivity as a standard feature. And with Elon Musk's ambition to continuously expand Starlink's satellite network, there's no telling just how far this revolution will go. Starlink is bringing us into a future where staying connected in the sky is just as easy as it is on the ground. And as it continues to grow and revolutionize air travel, one thing is for certain. Flying will never be the same again. Bye for now.